Absolutely, Jessica. I would say it has for the most part. I mean, there were a handful of delayed flights to Jacksonville in the last six hours. I was uh, please excuse me at last check. There were six flights delayed, but in the last four hours that we've been here, I would say that the flight uh, the the uh, airport has been calm. I mean, take a look for yourself. There's still luggage waiting to be picked up here, but travelers are just happy that they've made it to their final destination. After experiencing a delayed flight, a layover, crew changes, and then another delayed flight, Greg Robinson is just happy to be back home on the first coast. I've had worse, so uh, I can't complain. I'm here in one piece. Grateful, but understandably irritated. It was around 7.15 in the evening when we talked, but Robinson was supposed to land in Jacksonville around 5. It was mainly, mainly uh, delays up and down the pool. For a moment, Kathy Abbott thought it was Southwest all over again when thousands of flights were delayed and canceled around the holidays. I was like, today when this happened, I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Fortunately, none of her flights were delayed too long. Actually, Abbott says she landed here 30 minutes later than her expected arrival. With thousands of flights delayed all around the country, Robinson and Abbott say their experiences weren't that bad. But it was definitely a test of their patience. Watch the board, watch the alerts on your phone. Now, data from FlightAware shows there are a few delayed flights to Jacksonville. That, those include Fort Myers, Dallas, and Detroit. So I need you to be prepared just in case whatever happens here when you're traveling over the air. We're live at the Jacksonville Airport. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News on your side. Tristan, thank you.